Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and today we are going to be looking at the brand new version of Nova Launcher which is Nova Launcher 7 the Beta. Now keep in mind guys that this is going to be kind of a early look at what Nova Launcher 7 has to offer. I am going to be running it on my Google Pixel 5 which is currently running the beta version of Android 12. So that's definitely something to keep in mind with regards to performance. However, I haven't actually dug into it and seen exactly what Nova Launcher 7 offers yet. I'm basically going to be looking at it and experience it for the first time along with you guys. So let's take a look. And just drop a thumbs up down below for Android customization coming back to the channel. Okay guys, so I'm going to have my screen recorder pop up just here and again coming from my Pixel 5. And as you can see, it is going to be running the Android 12 beta. So as you can see, if I go into the quick settings, for example, you can see I've got my screen recording turned on currently. Or if I head into the wallpaper, you can see that it has the new material U color options as well. So again, that kind of may give a little bit of problems in regards to how Nova Launcher 7 is going to work. But I've been trying to use the beta version of Android 12 for as long as possible. I've been using it pretty much since day one, so let's just see how it's going to play. Now I'm going to have links in the description down below for how you guys can get hold of Nova Launcher 7 for yourselves, but I've gone ahead, got it installed, and I've also downloaded Nova Prime because I do pay for Nova Launcher as well, just to get some additional settings and things, and just really to support the developer. So first off, what we're going to do is just click onto Nova Launcher 7 and straight away we've got a nice animation up in the corner there, Nova 7, and already we've got a brand new design and a brand new look and feel to how Nova Launcher 7 is going to work. I really like the fact that the setup screen includes the wallpaper behind there as well, a nice little touch as well. So you can see here, first off, we have the theming options, which we've pretty much always had before, but again, you can follow the system, light or dark, and then you can also choose the dark theme color as well. Now, the thing that I like about that is some people like a pitch black dark theme, whereas for me, I prefer more of a sort of really dark gray, not, you know, not completely black, but you know, still pretty dark overall. Next then we've got the icons. Now I'm pretty sure if I did have any icon packs installed, which currently I don't, but if you guys want to leave any awesome icon packs below, then again, leave them in the comments. I'm pretty sure if I had some installed, they would also show in this icon section here, because for me, the only options that I've got is changing the size of the icons and also the icon shape as well. So again, if you want more of a squircle or a round square, then again, you've got some options there as well. For me, I'm just going to stick with the default round because that's kind of the one that I prefer the most. Next up then you have the search window. Now as you can see here it's automatically chosen DuckDuckGo as the search engine. I'm pretty sure they've got some sort of partnership with Nova Launcher. However, for me it has to be Google because for me it's just a little bit more reliable. Once you then go down, you've got the desktop search bar as well. And here you've got some options in regards to changing exactly what that's going to look like and where you can place it on the home screen. So as you can see, you've got the options to turn on or off the weather. You can also Okay, it's going to ask it while using the app. You can also hide or show the date as well. You've got Google Assistant and the Play Store. So as you can see, the actual bar down the bottom can look a little bit busy depending on how much you're going to add. For me, I'm just going to have it as the Google Assistant, much like you would do with a Pixel Launcher. I'm then also going to change the icon to the standard Google G. Now you can also see the placement of that as well. So you can have a widget. So again, you will be able to move that around dock above icons below or persistent and that's basically going to mean that you can't move it and you can't really do anything with it at all unless you go into the settings for me again i'm going to have it below the icons because that's just what i'm used to when i'm using something like the pixel launcher if you then scroll down you can then click on the tick and it's crashed so that's definitely something to keep in mind so let's just head back into nova launcher 7 and okay so we're now in Nova Launcher, as you can see here. So again, the setup itself worked, but then crashed. I'm pretty sure that's down to the fact that I'm doing Android 12. Hopefully that's not gonna happen to you guys. Again, any bugs and things that you guys find with Nova 7, let me know in the comments section down below. So if you just swipe up, you've got your standard app drawer. Everything's looking a little bit big for my liking. We've got some frequent apps I'm not a huge fan of as well, but we've got that search bar down the bottom that I set up as well. We don't have any sort of widget on the screen for for the you know weather date or anything like that so that's something that we can add later on however if i tap and hold and then go into the settings already this screen here does look different so we've got the home screens just there and then swiping up we've then got the widgets and you're going to find all of your widgets down below as well and again that's kind of what it looks like in android 12 so maybe with the new version of nova launcher they're taking some cues from the newest version of android so that everything kind of is a little bit more seamless you can then go into the settings themselves and to be honest guys a lot of this still looks 
pretty much the same. Now, yes, that may be a little bit disappointing to some people, but for me, Nova is pretty much the best Android launcher that you can get. So to have all of these settings still pretty much the same here, I don't really have a problem with that. What I am gonna do though, I do know that some of the settings are actually missing or not available anymore. So I'm just gonna put a little splash screen on the screen now. So you guys, you know, you can see exactly what isn't going to be in Nova 7 or even in Nova launcher moving forward, which is definitely something to keep in mind if you guys are a massive fan of Nova launcher. However, if we just have a very quick look into the home screen again most of this stuff here is pretty much the same page indicator oh, you can change the indicator color now at the bottom of the screen so that's pretty cool I like that so obviously what that means is at the bottom of the screen where I've got that sort of white gray bar below the search bar you can actually change the color of that to basically anything that you want to use which is kind of cool so then in the app drawer again just having a quick look through a lot of this stuff is the same so in terms of how many kind of icons you can have, the draw style, hiding apps, grouping, folders, all that sort of stuff as well. So pretty much the same folders are, we've got some new options with the folders. So you've got two different options for radio, which kind of look cool. You can have an icon in the middle like that, or you can have some just around the edge there as well. Clip to background, if we turn that off, that's okay. So it kind of gets the circle around or not around the edge. And you can also then change the shape of what these are going to look like as well. Got a little bit old school if you've been using Android for quite some time. This sort of setup here with the sort of platform and the icons above, you'll kind of remember that. Next up then we do have the search options. And again, all this is gonna be looking pretty much exactly the same. We do also have some radius options for the corners of stuff as well, which is kind of cool. So again, if we change that, it's gonna be more square or more rounded depending on where you're gonna be putting it. So again, you do have some nice options there. Again, some more integration with DuckDuckGo, which if you do wanna have a look at and get involved with, you've got the option to do so. And then we've got the look and feel. Again, icon theme app animations, all that sort of stuff is pretty much the same from what I can see. I think Blink with Ice Cream Sandwich is a new option, so that's kind of cool to have some older animations on the newest version of Android is a little bit of a, a mess up there, but it looks pretty good though, to be fair. Disable animations, show notification bar. So most of this stuff looks pretty much the same as what we've had with previous versions of Nova Launcher. Uh, gestures, as always, Nova Launcher is one of my favorite launchers, pretty much for this reason. You've got a ton of different options when it comes to gestures. So you've got two finger swipe down, up, pinch in, pinch out, a load of different options. You can even rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise to do different things. So again, a ton of different options. And if you haven't checked out Nova Launcher in general, not even Nova Launcher 7, just previous versions, Versions, then again, I would definitely recommend checking out if you are using something like a Samsung device or just really anything that doesn't have the Pixel launcher on there. It's really a great way to get that stock look and feel on any Android device. I've also done some videos about that in the past, which I will try and link in the description down below. Next up then we have the integration. So we do have the shortcut option as well. Notification badges. These are pretty much gonna be the same as what we've had previously. And we still have the option to backup and restore as well. So as you can see, the version of Nova Launcher that I'm using is 7.0.40 beta. So again, it's got a little bit of options there in regards to what you've got, some of the options, and also some bug fixes as well. So to be honest, guys, I thought this video was going to go a little bit different. I thought that some of this screen would look slightly different. Some of the options would be slightly different as well. The initial setup screen is something that I really do like, though. So if they can maybe integrate some of how that looks into actually what you're doing in the settings, for example, that would be kind of cool. So where you can change the app layout, for example, in the application drawer to actually see how that looks and how that would change would be really cool to have a slightly better visual on screen than what we've got now, because this, yes. Yeah, you can see kind of what it's going to look like but it doesn't really give you an overall kind of you know overview of how it's going to look uh, obviously going into the application drawer we've got quite large icons and things which again we can go ahead and change as well so yeah overall guys the nova launcher 7 beta looks good but that's because they haven't changed a ton from previous versions of nova launcher now if there's anything that you picked up on in the beta that i didn't actually find myself then again let me know in the description down below and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and also for android customization returning to copper versus glass Class. I'm Michael from Copper vs. Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.